Hello preparedness people and welcome or welcome back to The Biggs Prep. My name is Cynthia and it has been a very busy morning here on The Biggs Homestead. As you can hear, I've got the camera going in the background, so just bear with me. This is the wrap up of last night's live video. We had a lot of wins. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited that you all are taking charge of your finances to have more money to prep. You're fighting inflation by really focusing in on what's important to your family and what is not. Now, we did a survey on the community channel on, I think, Wednesday or Thursday, and 75% of you said that the groceries are the thing that is going up the most, and 19% said electric. Kelly S. says that her food has doubled in price, and you know, she wasn't the only one that said that. A couple other people, like Stacy Market, said that her rent is going up and she used to spend $50 every two weeks as a single person to get groceries for herself and that actually has doubled. Um, Joanna the Singer is fighting to turn the heat on. She's going to wait until the absolute last second to put that heat on and then she's pledged to keep it only at 60 degrees. Let me know in the comments down below when you normally turn your heat on and how you are going to know when it's time to turn it on. I know I used to live in Maine and my parents would wait until the absolute last second and then turn it on. Kathy Eller is using more lentils and eating less meat. Her electricity bill has gone up the most. William Gibson said his natural gas and electric are tied for going up and then groceries. A lot of you typed in saying that that electric bill is really pinching you right now. Um, HEV or HEV, in the UK, the price of electric has gone sky high. And I am saying a prayer for all of you over in Europe right now because I can't even imagine. Uh, Karen Bean was talking about groceries down in the comments. And I gotta tell you, down in the comments is where the real, the real news is happening. I love the comments on my videos and I do read every single one. E Boo Boo in Reno, Nevada says that nothing has changed. Her groceries have gone up a couple of, you know, a couple of dollars. She's not really concerned. Also, her bills haven't gone up at all either. So that's an interesting thing. It may be a regional thing. I don't really know a lot about Las Vegas, but I do know that they're having some serious problems out there with water. So that's a thing that I would keep my eye on. Um, Jan Hatchett said gasoline is her biggest expense that's gone up right now. Becky Tant, Becky, I'm saying a prayer for you. $673 light bill. Her light bill has doubled over last year for the same kilowatt hours. And I, my heart goes out because that is $700. And that's not a bill that you can get rid of. It's a bill that you can kind of try to cut back on, but it's not one that you can cut out completely. It's not like Stop going to Starbucks. Mm -mm, no, these people have already cut out the Starbucks. Let's be real. Um, Karen Shute said heating oil has definitely gone up for her. Ruby Red. Hey, Ruby uh, is seeing a big increase in groceries. Brenda Howell agreed that her food cost has gone up. And Brian Leverich again with that heating oil. I don't know what a lot of people are going to do this winter when that heating tank needs to be filled. I remember... Uh, living in Maine and just the heating oil was a big stress for my parents every single year. I couldn't wait to move to Florida so I never had to do that again. Sits and Giggles, what a cute name for a channel. A tie between electric and groceries and then regular mom pantry life. If you're not following her on Instagram, go on over because she has a great Instagram account and she and I chit chat all the time in the uh, Instagram messenger. Uh, she just said things are higher in general and I can definitely identify with that. Tell me in the comments down below how things are going in your area and where your wins are. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna hang out for more comments, go ahead and do it. Yeah, I think things are gonna get really interesting in the, next, uh, in the next six months or so. The cold dark winter that they were promising I think is coming now to this winter. I think that the this is just my opinion. I don't give advice to people, but I think that the 2020 and 2021 seasons were a precursor, a warm up to what is coming in 2022 and 2023. The harvests have been terrible. My own personal harvest was awful this year. We are planning a fall garden with fingers crossed, to be honest, and prayers said because 
the tomato shortage is going to be something that is really going to impact our our whole nation and we love tomatoes so really hoping hoping and working for a good tomato harvest um the wins this week in the biggs household we personally had a few wins I canceled a $25 membership to my dentist office. I just completed all of my dental work that I wanted to get done. I waited two months just to make sure everything was aligned correctly and that I want, that got everything that I wanted. Then I went ahead and canceled that. That's $25 a month we'll be saving. Um, we got seven new chickens. My friend Anne, who uh, lives out by my in-laws, is switching over to quail. So all of her chickens came to live with me. I'm so excited. I'll put a little, um, a little picture of them. We got seven hens and a new rooster. Uh, seven pints of pork got canned last week. I did a huge Winn-Dixie haul, which I am actually editing a video called How to Grocery Shop Like a Prepper. And then um, we got some free concrete stuff for the outside of the house. I'm super excited about this. It was gonna get thrown in the dumpster. It definitely needs a pressure wash, but it's gonna, it's gonna clean up like new. So excited. We got two big bags of dog food, and I mentioned in the live video that our dog food went from $49 a bag to $62 a bag in a very short period of time, like about, about eight weeks. It jumped. It's crazy. Uh, we ate out of our freezer and fridge and did not eat out at any restaurants, and we put a couple things that we order on Amazon regularly on subscribe and save so that we could uh, save some money. Some other wins we had here, Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry, which if you're not subscribed to her, go over and do it right now. I love her videos. She got her laundry all caught up and is back to canning and filming after her stay in the hospital. Sarah Connor picked 15 pounds of tomatoes out of her garden and canned some spaghetti sauce, which good for you, Sarah. <clears throat> Sits and giggles once again, got 50 pounds of potatoes, a free ham, Freezing her onions, her tomatoes are ripening. Tony DG, which Tony and I chat sometimes on Instagram as well, got 180 canning jars. I am so jealous, so, so jealous. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing to stock up on. Katie Trapnell made and froze tomato sauce, rendered lard, stocked up on ground beef and noodles, and she's planning a big shop, which I can't wait to see that. Brennan Harmon got pork butt, ribeye, cube steak, chicken, got potatoes, and she convinced her husband to get her a second freezer. Mr. Big, that is a hard no for him. We are not getting a second freezer, period, the end. It goes in a jar, it gets dehydrated, or that's it. No more than one freezer, because if we get a hurricane, he's afraid that he won't be able to keep everything going long term. If we're out for longer than two, three, two or three weeks, yeah, we'll, we'll start losing food, and he doesn't want that. Rebecca Bullock Jarrett uh, got wings on sale for her son's birthday. And as a mama, I totally understand how precious those birthday dinners are to our kids, that comfort food and that sense of normalcy. So well done. Michelle J, deep cleaning and organizing. Who's your a prepper nurse, which prepping? Who's your prepping nurse? has a brand new channel, go check it out. She's got some shorts up, she does some great videos. Canning catch up with her tomatoes, going through her preps and organizing her garage, well done. A Quiet Orderly Life, just went over and subscribed to them. They, I didn't realize that they had a channel and bam, there's all kinds of videos to watch. Harvesting the last of her garden, saving seeds and cleaning. Double D Homestead, love your videos too, girl canned three quarts of tomato juice and said every little bit counts and she's not wrong. Um, and then there was just us. So thank you so much for watching the video and the wrap up of the live. I understand that a lot of people can't make a live on a Saturday night and that is okay. That's why we do the wrap ups. Thank you again. And remember everybody, I'd rather be a year early than a day late. So bye-bye.